Hello and welcome to Underwise. My name is Soham and today we are going to talk about the latest DC animation movie Superman Man of Tomorrow. Don't worry, this will be a non-spoiler review where I give my quick thoughts and first impressions about the movie and an ending explained video and a full spoiler video would be coming out tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as I upload those videos. Now in simple words I would like to say that this is a modern yet grounded take on the mythos of Superman. I know that this story has been done numerous times before but still this movie didn't disappoint me at all. There were some very interesting moments here and there along with a few nods and references to the previous incidents. The movie certainly had its fair share of problems but it worked for me as a cohesive thread. It was really nice to see Superman and Martian Manhunter working together. and adding lobo to the mix of things was a brilliant idea i'm quite a fan of lobo shenanigans from time to time and as such i'm really glad that this movie didn't tone down his antics in a single bit and on the topic of toning down things i'm certain that you will ask me about apocalypse war and how much this movie is different from the now finished dcamu without getting too spoiler heavy i'd just like to say that yes this movie is not as gruesome as apocalypse war I mean let's be real no other movie will probably show that much blood shed in the very first 5 minutes so you cannot really compare these two movies as such man of tomorrow is certainly not as gritty as apocalypse war but still it incorporates some fair bit of violence and edginess thanks to the addition of lobo in the mix who was a total delight for me other than that there were some very good bits of the movie and some equally bad bits as well I like the overall plot at least the beginning and the middle. I like the character interactions and motivations. The voice acting was good and again there were some very interesting references. I won't get into them because that's spoiler territory though. Now my major problem with the movie was the villain, the climax of the movie along with a certain plot thread in the final act which was utterly ridiculous to say the least. The story of Parasite certainly started strong. a good man who got caught up in a terrible and unfortunate incident that's fine that's really fine but the way the movie ends his character the entire thing felt very contrived for me basically we have seen this exact same thing numerous times before to the point where this got very boring for the character of parasite all i would say here is that this is a terrible end to a good starting point so overall i don't really have a lot of complaints with this movie It's certainly not something groundbreaking or revolutionary say like the Flashpoint paradox but it was certainly a decent origin story and I especially loved the character interactions here the very element that makes a movie stand out for me also on that topic I think I need to talk about the animation and art style because that was a major talking point about the first trailer one word answer good I liked it it was different it was unique and how should I say this but it was somehow bold enough I thought that the art style would not be up to my taste but I was certainly wrong and I got used to it very very quickly and yes this is coming from a fan of the DCAMU I loved the anime inspired look of the DCAMU but this provided a totally fresh look see the animation is not something very great I agree with that the frames in between look very weird when you pause it but that's something which happens a lot in other shows as well I'm not going to give the studio flack for that Moreover I'm not a full-fledged animator who will understand the nuances of all the things but overall as a fan it looked decent enough for me Moreover the character designs were pretty good my favorite ones being Martian Manhunter Lobo and Lois Lane Martian Manhunter's original look was absolutely disturbing disgusting and terrifying yet it was something I always wanted to see in the movies Overall I like the movie despite its flaws I don't generally give a ranking or ratings to movies because I don't think I'm qualified enough to give a proper judgment. I'm just a fan who likes to watch movies and talk about them here on YouTube. But since people have asked me before to give movies a proper ranking based on my perception at the very least, I think I'll probably give this movie a B+. Pretty good, but it could have been better if not for the final act. Also just to make things clear, there is no definite confirmation as to whether this is a standalone movie or the start of a new universe based on the DC rebirth there were some minor easter eggs here and there that might suggest at future events but there was no post credit scene at the very end don't worry i'll go over the movie in details in my upcoming videos please subscribe to the channel to watch them as soon as i upload it so what are your thoughts about the movie 
please mention them in the comment section below. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. This is Wonder YZ and I'll see you soon in the next video.